we're going to start setting up our clean sound with no breakup first today. Why would you want to have a tone that has no breakup at all? Well, usually it's a style of music you're playing. You want to have something that's a pristine sound. Uh, Fender Twin will give that to you. You'll get that Fender kind of scooped, nice sound, but without any breakup at all. You'd have to really crank a Twin up all the way. And the model for that on, on the Spark Amp is exactly the same way. Um, all Fender amps will do this, though. If you have a smaller amp that tends to distort, if you just keep it at a low volume, you're going to get a clean sound. The problem is keeping up with a drummer or a bass player, that, that's where the difficulty comes in. The Twin is a great pedal platform. I used to use Twins all the time on the road for a back line. I'd plug my pedals right into there, and you never knew what you were going to get. Sometimes you get a good one. I remember a fantastic one. It was on the mall on uh, July 4th in Washington, D.C. We were doing an XM radio thing, and I don't know whose amp it was. I was using it. It was fantastic. I still remember it to, to this day. It lets your pedals really shine. Uh, they're, they're not colored uh, from some gain that's in the amp. It's, it's really nice. In the Spark Amp, we have the Blackface Duo model that's inspired by the Fender 65 Blackface Twin Reverb. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everything off. Here, I'm going to leave the noise gate and leave the reverb. I already have everything off. And we're going to set our cleans to around three on the dial, excuse me, on both the gain and the volume. That's how you will hear exactly what the amp sounds like when it's on three, since it doesn't have the, the preamp and power amps split. So I'm going to keep those the same. Take a listen, see what we've got. Pretty good so far. I'm going to start with the bass. I'm going to start all the way, all pretty much all the way off with the bass, and then I'll play a chord, and I will raise it until I hear the hum. It's a little too much. You hear that low note, that low hum come in, and it fills everything out. Then I'm going to go to the uh, treble next. I'm going to skip over the mids. I'm going to go all the way up, make sure it's not too brittle. And on this amp, it won't be. It's kind of a duller sound uh, amp of the fenders. And then I'll get my mids, start too low, and bring it up till it starts to fill out just a little bit. There we go. We're getting the glassy sound, we're getting the pristine, clean sound. Now, uh, it, you're good to go with the Spark Amp here. If it was a real amp, uh, you'd have to adjust the overall volume for your band. We've got our volume dilemma figured out. We've got our tone stack done. We can add in effects. We could add drive pedal if you wanted. That's going to add some simulated distortion, and it's going to have it put a, a little bit of a uh, some more mids in there to fill it out to give it... It's going to give you a little bit smoother sound uh, than just going clean alone. That's our Blackface Duo. It's a little more of a compressed sound to me. Uh, it doesn't have as much highs as some of the ones we're going to look out look at next. Hey, thanks for watching. I've got something for you. It's a free gift. It's called Get Moving Guitar. If you've had problems with your practicing or maybe you never really knew how to practice correctly at all, uh, it's going to help you out right away and it's designed to go along with the Spark Amplifier. You can get it by clicking the link right below in the description. If you'd like to support the podcast and get more of this content that's actually designed to help you become the guitarist that you've always wanted to be, Sign up for my VIP supporter program for as little as $3 a month. You'll get access to the private podcast and the backstage area. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for hanging out. See you in the next video.